Hi there, my name is Cuppy Kate, and welcome to our new series with Cattails. The series is going to be called, as I'm sure you could see from the thumbnail, Phase Fable. I'm really excited to play this, you guys. I'm so glad that this ended up being voted in. I actually voted for this one. Um, I can see why Planet Zoo is so popular, though, and we will be playing Planet Zoo on Thursdays. And if you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a poll of what series we would play to replace an old Pokemon series that I kind of ended a while ago. And with the poll, we had a tie on the original one between Cattails and Planet Zoo. On the new poll, it ended up that y'all chose to play both. So like I said, Cattails will be on Tuesday and Planet Zoo will be on Thursday. But I'm very excited to play this. I do know that the devs have made a new, or they're working on a new game called Cattails Wildwood. And the Kickstarter for that actually comes out this month. So you'll be able to click a link in the description below as soon as the Kickstarter is available, where if you want to, you can go and support them. The devs did not ask me to do that. I just thought since I love this game and I'm excited for the new one that if I could provide any help for their Kickstarter, the least I could do is post a link in the description for them. All right, with that being said, let's get into it. I hope that y'all are as excited as I am. And like I said, if you're new here, uh, do feel free to go ahead and click the like button right now and subscribe because this is going to be a long, fun series about m me and my husband's cat, Faye, and what would have happened had he not saved her. So let's get into it. New game. Oh, it has my old save. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. Difficulty level? Uh, let's go ahead and do normal difficulty. I don't want to do hard because I already struggle <laughs> in Wolf Quest. We're going to do normal difficulty. Um, to skip the intro and tutorial, that is a good question. We will play the tutorial, but I may not read everything. We'll see. It might be fun to read. <laughs> I don't know. Let's play it. Oh, here we go. Let's make our little Faye. Okay. Oh. That's Fee? <laughs> I got excited. I was like, <gasps> and I started to spell Fee. Okay. Faye. We're gonna name her Faye Wild. So this is Faye in the alternate universe. So her name is Faye Wild. Enter. I'm going to go ahead and apologize if there are any awkward cuts in this episode. My allergies are super bad. <laughs> so I'm having to stop to like hack up a lung or blow my nose. So if there's like weird like why the music cut like that? It's probably because I'm blowing my nose. <laughs> gross, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so Faye is all gray. She's kind of more of a long-haired cat, but I don't think we have that option in this. And she has green eyes, like this color green. Okay, here we go! Oh no, the intro is so sad! No! So like I said, this is uh this is alternate universe Faye. It looks like she found herself in a pet store or a pet rescue center and this little girl adopted her. And now she's sleeping in her bed, getting used to her environment. It looks like this little girl loves her very much. She's got toys. They're playing together. Oh, I guess either something happened where maybe she accidentally uh, scratched the little girl in the face and now mom's mad and dropped little Faye off. I want to take a moment to say if 
at any point in your life you have an animal that you either can no longer afford to take care of or you can't uh you can no longer take care of for other reasons such as it doesn't fit your lifestyle whatever it may be do not dump your animals please do not dump them there are so many people out there that are willing to rescue animals they're willing to foster animals do not dump them on the side of the road, especially if they've been domesticated most of their life. They won't be able to survive in the wild. You're not doing them a favor. Go ahead and find them a new home or take them to a no-kill shelter. Do not dump your animals. Okay, now that that little rant is over, <laughs> here we go. Hey, what are you doing out here? I have no idea what voice to give Coco, because Coco to me sounds like a girl name, but I could be wrong. So here we go. <laughs> you don't look like you're from around here. I'm Coco, by the way. Why don't you come over here and tell me your name? All right. So little Faye's gonna come up here to this new cat she just met. Hmm. You say your name is Feywild? That's a good name for you, if you don't mind me saying. You say you were left here all by yourself, dropped off on the side of the road? How terrible. Well, if that's your story, you've got a lot of learning ahead of you. You'll have to fend for yourself out here in the wild. If you don't know how to forage, hunt, and fight, you can't expect to live more than a few days. You better listen closely to everything I say. I can show you how to survive around these parts. First things first, You'll need to know how to forage. There should be some golden seal around here. It's a green leafy plant with a bright red berry. We use it to patch up wounds. Why don't you find some golden seal and bring it to me? Shouldn't be too hard to locate. Let me know if you need some help. Go and gather. All right. As we phase through Coco, we are going to find golden seal. I happen to know exactly where it was because I've played this before. <laughs> It's been a long time. I actually played this more on the Switch than I did on the PC, even though I started on the PC. Alright, Coco. I already know that you're gonna ask me to hold it. Great work! You'll be foraging like a pro soon enough. You go ahead and keep that golden seal, by the way. Never know when it may come in handy. I'll leave it in your inventory. There's lots of plants that grow around here. Around the wild. Golden seal, lavender, catnip, and marigold, to name a few. They all have their unique uses, so make sure to gather some up and try them out if you see them. Just remember that all plants need time to grow back after they've been harvested, and some plants will only grow in certain seasons. You're also going to need to know how to find food for yourself. You'll need to eat regularly to stay healthy and alive. You can eat some plants like berries and licorice root, but they don't fill you up very fast. You'll mainly want to eat prey that you catch with your own four paws. That's the good stuff. I don't suppose you know how to hunt, do you? I'll show you the way. Why don't you sneak around and find a mouse? They make for tasty snacks. Okay, and then I'm gonna skip these next few lines because it really just says the same thing like three times. <laughs> you got all that? If you need to hear it again, just talk to me and I'll repeat myself for you. Good luck and happy hunting. Okay, it's mouse hunting time. There it is. Okay, we got this. I, I usually always fail the first time. Hello, little mouse. Got it! Yes. <laughs> master Huntress is our little Feywild, the master of hunting. Will she be the hunter, the warrior, or the medcat, or all of the above? <laughs> Let's go. All right. Nicely done. You're a natural hunter, Feywild, but you'll need a whole lot more than just one measly mouse to keep yourself well fed and in top shape. Don't let it get to your head. You can find all sorts of prey to hunt all throughout the wilderness. Most will see you coming from a lot further away than a mouse will, so you'll have to stay alert and keep learning. You can always get better at hunting by spending experience on your passive hunting skills and your skills panel. Okay, I'm gonna skip this part because it kinda like breaks the fourth wall. <laughs> uh, all this hard work is probably making you hungry. Why don't you try eating that mouse you just caught? All right. Boop. Eat. 
And now we're a full kitty. Make sure you keep an eye on how hungry you are, Feywild. It could be the difference between life and death. Now then, do you have any special skills, any sort of training that cats of your, uh, of your upbringing go through? No, none at all? Well, that's not really surprising. I'm about to teach you a Coco specialty skill called Sprint. You can use it to gain a quick burst of speed. You can use Sprint to cover ground quickly, to run away from a fight that's too big for you, or to catch up with prey that's escaping. All right. And we hit one. Whee! <laughs> I did. Yay! Yes, that's just how it's done. You can use Sprint every now and then, but after you'll use it, you'll have to wait a little bit before you can use it again. All right, and then we'll skip this part about skills. Essentially what it's saying is that you earn experience between hunting and foraging. You even earn experience by saving and sleeping and going on to the next day. And so we can spend our experience points on our passive skills, such as our hunting, our foraging, our fighting, and our swimming even as a skill. So those are passive, and then the active skills are like sprint, or some of my favorites are where you can teleport home, or teleport to the sacred temple, which we'll probably see in this episode. And so essentially Coco is explaining all that, but I didn't love this part. I love this game. This was, I'm not saying that, <laughs> I'm not being a critic right now. It's just that there was a lot of fourth wall breaking with like active skills and stuff. Maybe that's me just being picky. <laughs> all right. You should know, also know something else about the wilderness. The cats that live here don't like intruders very much. Any cat found trespassing on another cat's territory can be attacked on sight. It's our way of life. That's why you need to know how to fight. Most cats join a colony that provides guards and a base of operations for protection. Often those colonies clash, border skirmishes, or even all-out wars are not uncommon. I need to know what I'm working with here. How about the two of us spar real quick? Fair warning, I won't go easy on you just because you're new. Come over here and let me know when you're ready. All right, let's spar. All right, a few pointers before we begin. Cats fight by pawing at each other with their claws. It, makes, it takes some time to complete an attack and during that time you won't be able to react to my attacks. So time your attacks just right. You'll want to make use of your ability to escape my attacks, anticipate my swipes, and get out of the way before they hit. Remember, I'll be vulnerable while attacking because I won't be able to turn around or move. Same goes for you. Ready? Three, two, one. Attack! Err, err, err. What? Err, err. <laughs> we did it! You put up a good fight, Feywild. You've got a lot to learn, but you're not bad for a beginner. You can always become better at fighting by spending experience on your passive fighting skill in your skills panel. Fighting can be an excellent way to flex your potential muscle too. Every day a few battles will begin along the borders of the colonies. If you participate, you could help a colony gain influence over that area. Speaking of colonies, surely you want to join one. It's a great way to get started in the wild. Okay, so I've actually thought about this a lot. When I played, I always picked the forest colony because I love the forest, I love the trees, and it was so cute, and I liked the cats there in particular. But for Faye, because she was born and raised in Colorado, I think I am going to put her in the mountain domain with Leo, who is the leader of that domain. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I love the Mystic Colony too, and I thought about it being a, a good place for Faye, but she hates wet, so I don't see her being in a swamp. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the Mountain Domain. Great, I'll lead you to the Mountain Domain then. Follow me, Feywild. Here we go, we're going to our new home. Here we are, this is your new den. 
You'll want to visit your den often. Here you can sleep and save your progress. You can also use this space to store your items if you'd like. I'm a hoarder, fair warning. I love making piles of plants and prey. It's like saving up for the winter and I just do less in the winter on purpose and I'm gonna see if I can't do that with Faye. I think that'd be fun. Remember to save your progress frequently as you play by using your bed. It's a good idea to save before sleeping each night. This is where you'll have to this is where we'll have to part ways, Feywild. I hope you remember your training well. It was good to meet you. You've had a busy day. Why don't you get some sleep? I'll return to check up on you soon. Until then, I'm going to teleport like a magic cat. <laughs> Teleportation skills are great. We're gonna save. And then we're going to go to sleep. Aw, oh, Faye's had her first night in her little den. Eventually, we'll be able to expand this den. We'll be able to meet other cats. Maybe, possibly, have Faye fall in love with another kitty. They could have kittens together. That sounds like fun, having little kittens. Oh my gosh, I bet Faye would have been a good mom. Good day. Coco told me to be expecting someone new soon. I am Leo. I'm the leader of the Mountain Domain. I'm here to greet you on behalf of our community. I hope you found your den comfortable enough. I know that cave can be a bit drafty at times. It's your duty to make sure you introduce yourself to everyone around town. And, you're, and once you're all settled in, I can read. I can read. You should definitely say hello to Delta, our shopkeeper. Also introduce yourself to Luna, our healer. You can find me at the top of the rocky stairs on the west side of town, though I'm usually busy with meetings and battle preparations. Oh, we're also preparing for the summer festival. We hope you'll be able to join us for the festivities. Cats of every colony come together to the sacred temple at the end of each season for the festivals. There's usually fun games and prizes you can win. The summer festival takes place on the 10th of summer. I'll leave you be for now. Welcome to the Mountain Domain, Feywild. So cool! He seems very noble in nature. Ah, we have Luna! Who has the best deer in the headlights look I've ever seen. Uh, hi. Can I help you? It's nice of you to stop by and all. I'm, uh, I'm Luna. I run the clinic, so I guess I can heal you and stuff if you get injured, yeah. That's about it. <laughs> oh, the social anxiety struggles. I get it, Luna. I understand. I completely understand. Oh, yes! So, um, this is our little task board. We can use it to have tasks and get tokens to buy stuff. Read today's task. Explorers needed. Navigate the lands nearby, then report back. Visit 22 different map regions. Okay. We can do that. We sure can do that. But we're going to see everybody first. So we met Luna. We met Leo. Uh, let's go down here and meet... Uh, let's meet Jag. Hi, Jag. Huh? What's the big idea? Who are you anyway? You don't look familiar. It's my job to keep cats who don't belong here away from our homes. I'm the town guard for the Mountain Domain. You say your name is Feywild? Hmm. I think I've heard someone mention you were arriving soon. All right, you're off the hook for now, but don't go causing trouble or I'll be the one cleaning up your mess. He's kind of a jerk. Just a little, but I guess you have to be if you're a guard. You can't exactly be lovey-dovey and friendly with strangers. Arthur! I remember Arthur. He cracks me up so much. Who goes there? Hearken to my words, traveler. You are not from this realm, are you? Thy coming is most peculiar. Thou speakest to Arthur, noble knight of the mountain domain. I mark how thy spirit swells with pride at the mention of our proud kingdom. This is a happy fate that we should meet on this day. I shall remember thee, noble one. <laughs> King Arthur, so cute. And then we have Robin. Hello there. 
I don't believe we've met before. My name is Robin. What's yours? Feywild? It suits you. It's nice to meet you, Feywild. If you ever need someone to talk to, I'm always willing to listen. Welcome to the Mountain Domain. Aw, Robin's so sweet. And then we've got Delta. Hello there. Anything I can do for you today? Oh, I don't believe I know you, do I? Well, I'm Delta. I'm the shopkeeper around here. Hope to see you around. There's Delta, and here's Pebble. Hi, Pebble, you look just like me. Who's there? Oh, it's just you. I don't believe I've bumped into you before. You new around here? I'm Pebble. What did you say your name was? Feywild? Well, Feywild, I can already tell that we're going to get along. Don't be a stranger. Oh, I think Pebble is actually an option for uh, being... Anybody that has the heart at the bottom is an option for being your, uh, your significant other, essentially. Do you travel much, Feywild? What's the world beyond the mountain's domain border like? Uh, it kind of sucked. <laughs> So we need to travel 22 different spaces. I don't know if we're going to be able to complete that, but Little Faye loves to explore. In real life, Little Faye loves to explore. She gets the zoomies quite often. Oh, we lost that squirrel. That's okay. <laughs> so she's got a lot of energy. Wait, wait can we help? Ha, 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 ha. I want to help. I want to help. I want to help. Uh. <gasps> Is Faye gonna be a little warrior cat? Look! She got a little hurt from that, but she did it! She helped her friends! And she found a catnip. That's awesome. Wow! Little Faye is kind of, uh, she's kind of in her domain. She's excited. Ooh, look, plants! Okay. We can use the golden seal actually to patch us up and give us a little bit of healing. So I think I'm just gonna travel around and see if I can't hunt and I'll bring you guys back if I find any good prey. Oh no! Do we help? Wow, the mountain domain is really powerful, guys. <laughs> oh, I really need to find food though. Sneaky, sneaky. Don't look at me. Don't you look at me. Hiya! Dang. Okay, let's try again. A mouse might be more our style. No, no, mouse, don't go that way. Got it! Yes! May. May? <laughs> May's actually a really cute name. Faye caught her first mouse. Okay, so let's give her a little feeding. Eat. There we go. Yeah, those mice don't fill up very much, but at least she was able to get it. Birds are a lot harder, although I know Faye would want to catch all the birds. Dang. Hiya! Hi! Aww, we almost got it. That was close. That was really close. And. Come on, girl! Yes! She caught herself a little dove! Okay, can we get this one? I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to those 22 spaces. Yes! Yeah, she got another one! I'm getting better at this hunting thing. <gasps> that was a blue jay! Oh man, those are so hard to catch, but they we need them. We absolutely need them. Alright, more exploring. This is one of the question mark thingies, or the question things. A great treasure I carry. Are you worthy of it? Yes. <laughs> I shall judge that for myself. Answer my three riddles correctly, and I may bestow a treasure upon you. What is the name of the mole that runs the canyon mine? Oh gosh, I don't know. Is it Mole or Molby or Molo? That is not correct! Oh no! I should have waited. Usually they ask easy questions. That one was hard. I have no idea who runs the mine. 
Whoops. I finally did it. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, we're a little outnumbered here. Oh, 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 uh, nope. We're not gonna do that. No, no, no. Our health is not very good and we're hungry. So we're just gonna go back to the den and hopefully be able to turn in our stuff in time. Phew, we made it, but barely. Oh, we gotta hurry. We only have till midnight. Ah! Okay. Whew. Oh my gosh, we made it. Okay, get my reward. Goodness, that was rough. But we did it. We did it, you guys. Oh, poor Faye. She's so tired and hungry. Look at her health. Oh. Phew. I think we might take a moment for her and have a little snack. Oh, she got that damselfly. Oh, very nice. Okay, so let's let her eat this little mouse. And she definitely wants to dig into this dove. Oh, that dove filled her up really, really good. Oh, I'm going to show you all something really cute you can do with fireflies. So I love doing this in my den. I like to make the den like really homey and decorate. See, you can use them kind of like little lights because they still light up even though, you know, you kind of, you kind of marked them. All right. See, little firefly. Okay, wait, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna move it. Let's put it there. Nice! Okay, what else did we find today? So it looks like we found a couple of gold and seal, which we will get some health back after we sleep. So we may sleep first and then let her do some healing. We did find some catnip. So I like to save the catnip. And the reason for that is because the catnip does a lot for getting somebody to like you. And pretty much all the cats love it as a gift. Pretty much guaranteed. I don't think there's any cat that doesn't like catnip. But each cat in the game has specific gifts that you can give them that they like or they love. Sometimes they hate a gift. So if you give them a gift, it could lower your friendliness with them. I think. I think. Unless I'm confusing that with Stardew Valley. But... We want to be able to make some of the cats our friends, and hopefully Faye will kind of find one of the cats here in the mountain domain that she might like as a potential mate, and she could have little kittens. So I'm going to take a few seconds to organize our den a little bit, uh, nice and pretty-like, and then we will go ahead and save and go into the next day. Another new happy day has passed. We're already gaining experience. We didn't heal... Uh, we didn't heal all the way up, so we're gonna actually use this Marigold, which gives us a little bit of regeneration. So that will help us heal just a tidbit, at least enough to get us safe. I do think we won't be able to participate in much uh, battles today. Oh, it's Coco. Hi, Feywild. How are you today? Listen, there's something I want you to see. Something tells me you could help me with it. Maybe you can restore the balance. If you get a free moment, you should come to the sacred temple. It's right in the middle of the wilderness. You can find it on your map. I'll meet you there. Teleportation. <laughs> okay, well, let's go ahead and see what everybody has to say today. Hi, Luna. Uh, hi, can I help you? Let's talk. Can't talk much. Uh, clinic sees lots of business. Um, I know it doesn't look like it at all the time, but I'm serious. <laughs> poor, poor sweetie. She does have that social anxiety thing. All right, let's see what our task is for today. Uh, read today's task. Seeking adventure. We need someone to explore the caves today. Descend ten levels. Okay, I didn't expect that. You get a sea bass and one task token. Well, let's go to the mines. I think it could be fun. How are you doing today, Arthur? Who goes there? Hearken to my words, traveler. It is plain to see that thou hast some strength of paw. Perhaps one day soon we shall fight together against our sworn enemies to the south. <laughs> I love Arthur. Hi, Jag. Are you in a better mood today? Huh? What's the big idea? 
And remember that trust has to be earned. You don't get a free pass in life. Especially not with me. Ooh, I wonder if Jag has a really similar experience to uh, what Feywild in this universe has, where maybe Jag was with uh, a family and they abandoned uh, Jag, abandoned them. Hello there. If you're ever in need of food or other goods, you'll want to speak with Delta. That cat carries just about everything you'll ever need. Hi, Leo. Bye, Leo. We'll just let him be. Hello there. Anything I can do for you today? Uh, let's talk. I've even been southeast of here. Oh, I think it's supposed to say ever. <laughs> There's a quarry in the middle of the meadow. It reminds me a lot of our home. A, a, qu a quarry? A qu yes, that thing. That thing that I'm having trouble pronouncing right now. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's get to the mine entrance. Oh, we do need to go see. Mm, we need to go see Coco. That's a little more important. I will meet you at the sacred temple. Uh oh, uh oh, we got problems. Uh oh, oh no! Run, run, Faye, run! Grab this now, run! Uh. They just walked across that water? Ooh, catnip. I'm sorry, Rent. You'll you'll never catch Faye! Teehee. Ooh, she got hurt. She got really hurt. We might go ahead and use the marigold we just found. And maybe this golden seal as well. Poor baby. She got just a little beat up right there. We are here at the sacred temple with Coco. And I think that this is where we will call it an end to the very first episode of Faye's Fable. This is going to be a great series, you guys. Lots of storytelling. Uh, lots of trying to figure out the other cats and their stories in here as well. I'm going to go ahead and pause that so we're not just wasting time in the day because we're going to pick up where we left off. But... I hope y'all are excited and I hope you liked this episode and if you did make sure you give the like button a tickle and a poke subscribe to join our family if you haven't already and jingle the bell to get notifications of when I will post phase fable don't forget to join discord I love talking to you guys in the discord so much so please join and don't forget to click the follow me link in the description below and that's where you'll find all my socials including twitch where I go live every week I love you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next week for more of Faye's Fable in Cattails. Bye!